95 interchange with the 66 basically connects Northern Virginia with uh, Washington, D.C. It has very high volume of traffic and it's basically always on because Washington, D.C. is the capital, so we have traffic coming for all states through here. One of the most challenging things in the, in the flyover, it's over the entire interchange. We had to coordinate these activities with build up at least one week in advance with the toll road operator at least two weeks in advance. And the schedule for uh, Wamara, we had the target date at least six months in advance. So by February, March 2021, we knew when we had to be lifting the gators over Wamara right away. Uh, one of the other challenge that I faced was also uh, managing and delivering all the girders that we needed to build these bridges. For the big bridge that you see behind us, we had 160 girder deliveries that mostly had travel restrictions because they were permanent loads. So we they could only be on the road in specific time frames. Unfortunately, you cannot just stack these girders on the job site. Their range all the way from 160 up to 180 feet long. So you had to properly coordinate where to put each girder and safely do it. We had to move a lot of equipment, move barriers, even sometimes create the, the proper area to stage it safely. And we, should, we had to also manage the movement and the crane pads of all the cranes that we needed to install the girders and we had to implement in multiple location traffic shifts, uh, as well as build crane pads to optimize and uh, minimize the time it took for the cranes to set up, which helped us uh, achieve the installation of the girders during the road closures that we had each night. But there is so much more to get to that one day, that one point, and that day it's just extremely satisfying to see, hey, we help build this and this is our end result. So those are, for me, it's the most satisfying coming here and just taking a look at what we've built with all of our efforts.